Hello, everyone. Welcome to another interactive English, which is essentially a live YouTube live. It's it's also an English lesson. It's it's a lot of things combined. And as you can see, there's always uh, someone with me here. This time it's Helen. Hi, Helen. Hi, Zdenek. Hi, everyone. Hope How many times? Well? Yeah, I, I am doing well. I don't know about them. They will have to tell us in the in the chat, obviously. How how are you yourself? Uh, well, I'm feeling wonderful, and you know why? <laughs> because after the live in the Achievers Chamber, you promised we will play together the the game called Code Names, wow. which is, as you know, it uh, a wonderful game to practice English and to to get a lot of uh, talking and uh, speaking practice and uh, at the same time a lot of fun uh, yep. all good all good in this game and you promise you will play uh, play it in your group uh, right after this live that's right so we do it we do play it there every month i'm glad you are excited and we do play it there once a month yeah because it's part of an event called games and speaking and um so Obviously, if more people like it, uh, we could make it a more regular thing as well. But to be honest, I, I'm I'm afraid that if you overdo something, it it might get a bit tedious. So I think maybe this 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 will work long term if we only play it once a month, and people can get excited about it just like yourself. <laughs> well, I played it with a bunch of people once a week for what one year. And yeah. I'm still not tired of this game. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So well, maybe I'm completely addicted to to this game. But some uh, some of our uh, people in the group seem to to like it very much too. So it is a, it is a very clever game, I have to say. Mm -hmm. uh, made by yeah. Czech Games Edition, by the way, which is a company from the Czech Republic. I think they are based in Brno, which is the second largest city in the Czech Republic. And if you guys never heard about this game get it it's worth it it's not expensive and you can have loads of fun with your friends and even some strangers you meet whoever students your students classmates alternatively they can join the, the achievers chamber group on discord and play with us the more the merrier. absolutely absolutely they can you guys can reach out to me uh on my um at my um email address which is teachersdenek at gmail.com just say hi Zdenek uh, how do I join the Achievers Chamber how much does it cost can you please send me more details and I will do exactly that or if you are lazy you can just uh, click uh, one of the links in the description uh, below this video that's option number two and once you join the Achievers Chamber you can meet people like Helen there and uh, not only play board games, but work on your spoken English. That is the main idea. Right. So, Helen, after all that, <laughs> yeah. After all that, let's get into the uh, the conversation. Um, sure. As always, I will encourage people who are watching us live to ask questions, uh, make comments. Um, anything like that is 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 obviously appreciated by me and Helen. And uh, today's topic was chosen by Helen, and it's drugs. And that's why my first question has to be, why did you actually choose this topic, Helen? It's yeah, quite who, a fascinating who, who, choice, in my opinion. Who would have thought that a girl uh, seemingly uh, nice like me would... Uh, would, would like to, to talk uh, about something uh, such as drugs? And um, maybe I have um, not so common views uh, about drugs, uh, and maybe I, that's why I wanted to to share some ideas with, with people. And um, I think that m most people think that uh, drugs uh, is a subject that don't uh, subject that don't concern them, and uh, maybe it's something that is closer to 
to us and not uh, not the field of some junkies or people that are not the like of us. Not like us, you mean? Uh, not like us and not uh, like the like of us. You, you can say that the like of us. Yeah, you can. It's just if bit, people. Uh, yeah, I know. I know. Us. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, but it just sounds a bit weird. In it's a bit confusing. But that's it's fine. I know what you mean. If you want to kill any <laughs> attempt of originality and no, uh, no language attempt, <laughs> no, that let 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 that be uh, Chat GTP's work. <laughs> I will I will do none of that. Keep going. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so usually uh, this thought that um, taking drugs is either a choice, some mm -hmm. uh, scientists think uh, it might be uh, some sort of disease or maybe uh, um, some people might have genetic uh, predispositions to, to get more, um, are more likely to, 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 to take drugs than other people. Yeah. And uh, uh, not every scientist uh, agree uh, uh, on uh, on any of those um, assertions. Uh, there's mm -hmm. a lot of uncertainties, but there's a theory um, that is close to my heart. Is saying that um, drugs is an attempt at solving a problem. Mm -hmm. um, I... So, so basically, the way you look at it is more. You are more compassionate. You 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 trying to understand the people why they make a choice like that rather than being critical of them. We always uh, it's always in our advantage to try to understand people, uh, understand why a situation is the way it is, rather than just judging and um, because it uh, it won't lead uh, nowhere uh, because if. Um, if you understand, you can understand what are the, the root cause of something, and then you can act effectively. But if you rely only on um, uh, repressive um, actions, if you just say, oh, uh, taking drugs is bad, uh, we have to scare people, we have to send them to, to prison, the, this way they will understand that it's a bad thing to do, and they will get better. Uh, hmm. The only issue is that it doesn't work very well. Why not? Well, uh, first of all, uh, yeah, we are in a society that believe uh, in uh, uh, in punishing people, and hmm. uh, it goes uh, from children. If we punish them when they don't behave the uh, the way we want uh, them to to behave. They will get better. Doesn't work very well uh, with criminals. Uh, if we put them in prison, we'll protect the society, and uh, everything will be fine. Everything is not fine. Mm -hmm. um, and at, uh, at the root cause is, as Gabor Mate says, and he worked a lot. He's a physician, a retired physician who worked a lot with um, addicted people. So. Um, um, is renowned to 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 know the the su subject uh, is that it is uh, an attempt to um, to n to not feel to uh, it's a normal uh, reaction to an abnormal situation. So it's uh, basically a coping uh, mechanism. So there there's coping suffer coping, co coping. coping. Yeah, coping, thank you. Thank mechanism. you. I, I know I got it uh, yeah. wrong. Cop, a coping uh, mechanism. Coping. With, coping. Coping. Coping mechanism. So at, at the root, there's suffering, and we are adding punishment to 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 it as uh, as if it would magically uh, solve people's pr problems. Hmm. And uh, okay, people will uh, will say that uh, I'm a dreamer. But I'm not the only well, one. <laughs> I've heard that before. <laughs> so, sounds like uh, sounds like sounds like 
Sounds like you have you have just plagiarized someone, Helen. <laughs> <laughs> who? I really don't know who I may have. Oh, I, I have I have an I have an idea. <laughs> But, uh, uh, can anyway. we talk about uh, science for for a minute? Why not? Let's go. So, as you know, it's scientists like to make experiments on poor animals to to prove uh, uh, various various things. And uh, one of the experiments that proves that uh, drugs are addictive is the the one with rats. They put rats in an empty cage with cl clear water and uh, drugged um, water mixed with drug. And uh, e each time uh, the rat preferred uh, got addicted to the water with to the to the drug. Hmm. Well, what, how, how come? Uh, what what's the what's the conclusion of that uh, research? Uh, they concluded that uh, once you you try the drug, you get addicted. And uh, in the 70s, uh, there's a, a psychologist named Alexander uh, that said, wait a minute, something isn't right with this experiment. <laughs> wait, did he say that in, in these exact words, wait a minute? <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Maybe not exactly those words, but something <laughs> along those lines. But you made it sound more believable with that, with that phrase. Wait a minute, I like it. Okay, so what isn't right then? Tell us. So he said uh, they put a rat in an empty cage and, uh, and they wonder why the rat is getting addicted to drug. <laughs> I mean, it's, a, it's, a, it's like, it's like uh, do you want nothing? Do you want life full of nothing or just empty emptiness? Would you prefer emptiness or would you prefer something that may potentially harm you, but at least it's some some sort of life? <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. which one would you go for? <laughs> uh, exactly, you you got a point. Uh, so he uh, decided to do the same experiment, but with a slightly different setting. Let's say. <laughs> And that's uh, that's uh, how he came up with the what is called what is famously known as Rat Park. Rat what? Rat Park. How do you spell the this, the other word? Park, park, like a park, paradise for rats. Can you please spell the word for me, Helen? P A R K, park. P A R K, park. R R. I, I genuinely didn't understand the word. I'm sorry. Park. 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 You need to make it long. Park. 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 I will Rat tell you what, I, un I'll tell you what I understood. Do you want me to, to tell you what I understood? You're going to laugh. Yeah. Puck. As in P-U-C-K. The, 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 the black thing that is used for playing ice hockey. Puck. Rat puck. It's like, what is she um. talking about? <laughs> this is why the length of vowels is important, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> okay, anyway. okay, Rat Park. Rat Park, yeah, it's Rat fine. Rat Park. Yeah. Uh -huh. So instead of putting rats alone in an empty cage, he found a huge cage uh, with lots, uh, lots of cheese, colored mm -hmm. balls, lots of tunnels, Lots of mates for rats uh, to to have fun. If to, you follow my drift, to hang out with, <laughs> and um, be, um, basically a paradise for for rat for rats. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, the all the rats had choice between uh, clear water and drugged water, and it got very different re results. The, the rats uh, almost never touched the the, drug, the, the water with drug. Mm -hmm. they, ne they, uh, they don't like it. Yeah. Um, they, they use it very, very rarely and they never overdose it. Whereas with the, the rat in the, the empty cage, it, uh, they were all uh, overdosing. Yeah. 
So two different settings, very different results. Yeah, and, basically, uh, you, you you have to offer, basically, um, have to offer an alternative which is which is appealing enough for the rats, and then they will avoid the drug. So is is this? So I'm trying to understand where you are where you are going with this, and basically, there might be some people in this life that now correct me if I'm understanding it wrong, but there are some people in this life who are living such a miserable life that the alternative of trying a magical substance or something that they know might potentially harm them, but at least it's some sort of form of escape. That's why this is happening, because their life is just rubbish. It's just not good enough. Either they don't have money or they don't, I don't know, they, they just, some, things are going wrong for them. They Something happened, their relationships are broken, anything, right? And then as a result of that, uh, this is what they resort to, right? It's not a, a con conscious process, uh, but um, that's the, the main gist. And uh, we, well, um, it's not some people, it's, uh, it's terribly common, common. Uh, a lot of people for various reasons are going through uh, very difficult, um, all kinds of difficulties. Yeah. Uh, whereas with mo money, uh, uh, home violence, or a parent yeah. that um, is an uh, alcoholic, or can be anything, can be so so many things, and it's not only uh, some people. We uh, this experiment is is uh, saying that when people are connected, where well, where they are, uh, have good connections uh, with uh, with the um with with people with uh, with people who, who are close to them uh yeah. they they are not appealed to to drugs but uh when they they're they not end so, up, they're, they're not they're not attracted uh, to drugs attracted yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. um that because they, they basically they have no no reason to um, yeah. to to um to go to for exchange, that yeah to exchange that that sort of life for something which is mm -hmm frankly quite um, risky <laughs> i think most people realize it when they do it right but often they mm, just people don't have a choice it's... or it's just so bad the situation is so bad that mm. they do it anyway i think that's often what happens but i could be wrong about this no no you're you're right i would uh, add that we live in uh, a society uh, that uh, where people all people are getting more, uh, more and more uh, isolated, and we, we, we felt, we, we all felt that with the, uh, the COVID situation, it got worse. But it's, yeah. it's a chronic situation, and it's, uh, it's endemic. Yeah. It's everywhere, and people yeah. are getting more and more uh, lonely. I, I and... believe, I believe you, Helen. I believe you so much. You know. And uh, that's the definition uh, Gabo uh, Mate gives uh, of, of drugs. It's something that gives you relief on the, uh, in the short term, but is uh, detrimental to, to you on the long run. And you have the inability, you, you're, you're unable to stop. Where even though you know that it has detrimental effects on you, that it affects your health, uh, it affects your relations, uh, relationship with people mm -hmm. uh, it, it does you um, harm it, it does harm you but you're uh, unable to stop mm -hmm. and it's not only um, sub substances because uh, people might say wait a minute uh, I've been through, through some uh, some stuff myself uh, and, uh, and I'm not a junkie yes but uh, um, substance, uh, addiction is, is only one side of um, addictions. Uh, people, it's um, to be addicted. You, it, you can take a substance, uh, legal or illegal, by the way, uh, alcohol or smoking are, are addictive well, too. And they cause that's what a, I, that, a lot that's of what too. that's what I wanted to discuss as well here, Helen. So, if we don't mind, uh, let me ask you this question. Uh, how do different people understand the word drug? Yeah, this was one of my questions here. 
and uh, we can follow it up with what Luke mm -hmm. said. So this is my question. How do different people understand the word drug? And then there is uh, there's a question from Luke, which is um, in the same sort of line. Uh, there are legal and illegal drugs. Is black coffee a drug for you? So. Okay, so we're uh, we're talking for now about su substances, uh, and that's how pe most people uh, understand it. Taking uh, illegal drug illegal illegal substances and uh if i refer to the definition of uh of a drug of an yeah. addiction is something that is uh, relieving you on the on the uh, on the in the short term and uh, harming you on the on the long run and the inability uh, and you have the inability to stop in the case of black coffee um if you really uh, overdo it it can harm you. It can uh, rise your um, ten, uh, your uh, your tension. Your uh, you can get high blood pressure, high blood pressure, or um, having more harmful harmful effects. And if you find yourself in unable to uh, unable to to stop it, to to reduce your coffee consumption. Even though you you understand that it's detrimental to to your health, in this case, even black coffee can be considered uh, as a drug. Mm -hmm. And exactly. in the uh, in a wider uh, definition, um, an addiction can be any kind of behavior with all those characteristics. Can be uh, can be games. It can be gamb uh, gambling. Yeah. Can be shopping. Um, games. Did I hear you correctly? Games. Like code names. Uh, <laughs> if you play too uh, too much and it's taking over your life, um, yeah, yeah, it can be. See, that's why uh, I, I I only do it once per month for now in the Achievers Chamber group. Because <laughs> so I don't want you to get care addicted. Of my health, you don't want me to. <laughs> exactly. I, I want to look after you, Helen. I want to prevent any sort of addiction here in this group you know i have to look after my members and that's why we are so lucky to have a caring teacher <laughs> why why did it sound like sarcasm i don't know <laughs> he wanted to hear it that way <laughs> yeah i think I no, you're, you're very appreciated it's it was not sarcasm well thank you so much you are right <laughs> you are <laughs> did you okay. doubt it of that yeah, okay, can I ask? Did you doubt um, that? Can I ask you a personal question, Helen? Mm, yeah, go on. All right. Let's see what we find out here. And be careful what what you will use on the internet will and can and will be used against you in the future. <laughs> I've never experienced uh, taking any any kind of illegal drugs mm. uh i've never smoked uh i really You've never smoked uh, as in you have never had a cigarette in your life never okay. even Not i had two, even i had two cigarettes in my life well Only you're a junkie a real junkie well there is more but i'm not sure i want to share I've never been addicted to drugs. Yeah, let me put it out there. But I have tried something when I was in my early twenties in London. I had a friend who was uh, she was a party girl, and I really liked her. And um, yeah, she just she didn't put me up to anything. I I just I was just in that sort of inquisitive mode, <laughs> and I've tried a few things, let's say, but I never. I never stuck with it, never ever, because I'm a, I'm I've always been a sports sportsman, yeah. So for me, it just made no completely no sense to do any of that. Uh, so that so while I did try something, you know, to have the experience, I never stuck with it, and I would never recommend doing that to anyone anyway. Like, I I was just like I had the strong. I knew and we're not trying to recommend drugs. Of course not. No, 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 absolutely not. 
And not only because I don't want to be cancelled as a YouTuber here. <laughs> no. I genuinely believe that drugs are harmful, okay? And so does Helen, right? Uh, I am uh, I'm a harm, uh, harmful. <laughs> Did I say that? <laughs> I, no. So does uh, Helen. Drugs are harmful. No, no, no. So does Helen. I, I said. I said I genuinely believe that drugs are harmful, and so does Helen, which means Helen also <laughs> believes that drugs are harmful. <laughs> Thank but, God, <laughs> I'm not harmful. But I shouldn't speak for you. So if 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 it's not true, just challenge it. Uh, illegal drugs are harmful, and a lot of legal drugs like sugar are definitely harmful. Too. And I, Too. I would also like to say that some people, and the word drugs is sometimes used in a wider sense when you refer to any sort of medicine, right? Like pills or tablets that you buy in a in a pharmacy or you get a prescription yeah, it's confusing in english yeah. it is confusing right and i think this i think this is more in american english if if, if i'm not mistaken mm -hmm. but it could be in british english as well anyway um we also have the word drugstore <laughs> which is also quite confusing um <laughs> so there, there, there's only junkies in the uk if i understand you right because they all go to the drugstore. Right. Isn't isn't drugstore a place where you buy like a washing powder and toothpaste and things like that? Like it's more like a hygiene hygiene kind of shop, right? Shop with hygiene or for hygiene. Oh yeah, how, any how kind I, of stuff, yeah. How do I put it even? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um yeah. That's so why I word... said that they all go there. Yeah, exactly. So the word is quite can be quite confusing, yeah. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah it's true. So uh, obviously, I think most people, when they use the word drugs, they understand it as as, the, as Helen puts it as the word substance, like some sort of, let's say, heroin or cocaine or something like that, meth, right? Yeah, yeah. So that's why I go back to what you you asked me: why uh, putting people um, in prison for drug uh, usage is not very effective. Uh, there is. Um, so, so, uh, suffering at the beginning, we make them suffer even more. We make yeah. uh, in prison connections with people will be even more difficult. And when they go out of prison, they will have criminal records, and it will be even harder for them to uh, to make connection yeah. and have um, have a uh, have a good life. Yeah, so it's a vicious. And they will be even more isolated. So. We, we, Neither them, neither the se the, the society gains uh, anything in the process. Mm. So, what's the solution? You uh, is the logical mm. next uh, question. I don't know. Do you have one? Well, um, the one that is uh, su suggested uh, um, according to to this theory is to to help people who, who have um, uh, addiction problem. To make uh, connections um, again and put um, like um, ensuring that they, they will get a job or trying to put uh, putting all money in the re rehab uh, stuff and uh, uh, stuff like uh, harm re uh, reduction um, plans um, like um, so, sorry sorry like what harm Harm reduction. Do you you know there there's a lot of uh, harm when 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 you take drugs, you you have uh, HIV or uh, using um, needles for uh, reduction. Drugs. Okay, uh, right, right, harm right, right. Reduction or needles that are not clean that will uh, convey this uh, all kind of disease and um, hmm. get, getting drugs from uh, unreli unreliable unreliable sources. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, one of the things when I first heard of that, uh, I said, well, wait a minute, the, uh, it will encourage people uh, using drugs. Basically, there are places where uh, the junkies or people uh, who have um, a problem with drugs can get uh, either drug substitutes or clean syringe. And uh, instead of putting them in prison, uh, there are it's a place 
a clean place with medical super supervision where they are uh, where they are allowed to to drug yeah. themselves. So so why do you think we don't have uh, more of the places like this? Do you think it's 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 because it's too expensive or uh, this it's the society isn't ready for this? It, it wouldn't be just if people wouldn't understand. People people prefer like uh, drastic solutions, like put them all in prison or isolate them. Or... Yeah, people do like most people do like this solution uh, mm. because they uh, they think they are doing something. Uh, well, in a society, for many reasons, we will, as I said, we believe in punishment. Mm. Uh, well, where was I? Yeah, so, yep, yeah. and. Uh, People, even I at uh, at the time didn't understand uh, where, where when I first heard of the of those places. Uh, why would the pe people encourage uh, let them drug themselves? Uh, mm -hmm. It's uh, it's uh, it feels like la uh, laxism, and um, yeah, according like to what? this la uh, laxism, uh, uh, you you're doing nothing to to stop uh, a bad situation. Um, Schism, you mean? L l is it an English word? Yeah, schism. L laxism. I have no idea what laxism is. Well, may, may, maybe I I, uh, I borrowed something from French. Um, not being firm enough or not at all. Oh. Um... Ah, so like being lax. Lax means like uh, not not sort of strict enough, or is that what you yeah, mean? Yeah, th uh, that's yeah, that's what I meant. Laxism. Oh, it's like a noun from from the adjective lax. I don't know, Helen. Um, let me check if, if it exists. Uh, a theory in moral theology condemned by the church. Laxism is a system of moral theology. I don't think that's what you meant. Really. <laughs> Yeah, it exists, but not, it's not, or maybe not from uh, at all. It's something else. And, uh, never mind. Never mind. Let's forget about so, all uh, that. According to this theory, that uh, basically people uh, don't use drug when they have great connection. Mm. The idea would be to take all the money from the war on drug, uh, yeah. all the money because it costs a lot of money to to put people in prison, and it all does, yeah. to paying all all those uh, policemen. Uh, only to uh, to track people that might use drugs to take all, all this money and mm. use all this money for these uh, harm reduction uh, programs and re rehabilitations, ensuring that the, the people um, get of, um, uh, a sense of purpose in their lives uh, mm. and all this. And I hear already people saying that uh, we cannot be always nice to to them, and at some point they have to uh, to understand, and we have to punish them. But you know what? There's one country that tried it and said, "Okay, let's do that. Let's punish them." No, no, no. Let's stop punishing them and do everything ah. uh, we can. Uh, let's put, let's take all Is this money we used to. Uh, okay. Can to I guess? Uh, can I guess the drug. can can I guess the country? I told you, so you know. <laughs> I don't remember. Is, did you tell? Did you say this in this life or? <laughs> uh, one hour ago, ten minutes before the beginning of this life. You really expect me to remember that, Helen? When I'm I'm ten so minutes what's before. Your, what's your guess? What's ten your minutes guess? before the ten minutes before the life. I'm I'm really stressed because I'm trying to prepare everything so that everything works out well. And you really expect me to remember that? And I oh, mentioned my... one or two, one or two times that I wanted to talk about this country. Okay. Well, so what's your what's your I, guess? Well, France, because you're French, so I would say France. No, 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 no. No, we we're not. Uh, we are not this advanced in, in my country. We still okay, believe well, a lot uh, in repression, and people, uh, young okay, people, can well, get to to prison right. for just having a few grams of marijuana in the. So in it has pocket. to be. So it has to be a, a, a very liberal country. So I, I can guess something like the Netherlands. Uh, they tried something different, but uh, no, it's not the Netherlands. Okay, the UK. No, wrong again. Is, it, is this country in Europe? Yes. 
Okay, Germany. No. Oh my God! It's, uh, it's it... a country that uh, that had in the in the um, in the late nineties uh, one of the worst situation uh, regarding regarding drugs. One of the worst situation. Sh 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 should I should I know this? Um... Hmm. Well, oh, no. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a difficult it's a uh, difficult question. Uh, you may not know it, but in the late 19s, por uh, 90s, Portugal po had Portugal. Uh, one of the worst. Portugal uh, had one of the worst yeah. situation regarding to to drugs. One percent of uh, the population, and it's a lot, was using heroin. Ah, really? One percent of the population. It one in one hundred people. What? I checked the numbers. Uh, that uh, is that is crazy. That is crazy. And uh, uh, around that time, they decided, okay, the, the uh, punishing people do, doesn't work. Let's yeah. try something uh, radically different. So what did they do? And they they complete, completely decriminalized, not legalized, decriminalized all drugs. So just to explain, decriminalizing drugs means that drugs are actually not illegal anymore so it's not it's not a crime to take drugs huh? but is it is it still cr a crime to sell drugs if you decriminalize drugs um i guess uh if if you're a big fish and you really want to sell drugs and you uh think it's still a crime but uh mm. drug usage uh, is completely decriminalized Wait, wait, is this it, is it still the case in Portugal as we speak then? It's still the case. And uh, as uh, I, uh, I checked some, some news and uh, it seems that more, more people uh, get interested in the, su uh, in the success the, they met with, the, with this program. Ah, okay, I'm really surprised. I'm really surprised. It's interesting that as we talk about Portugal, we've got one Portuguese speaker here and that's Rodrigo. Rodrigo is Brazilian. And uh, he just says hi. And just not, let's not forget about David Davide as well from Italy, who says hi, Helen and Zdenek. Hi. Okay. So um, this is all fascinating, Helen. I know you are you you have so much to say about this topic, but we don't have time. Just for... a few a few numbers. Uh, the, uh... I, I give you five minutes max, okay, to, to give us all these numbers. <laughs> Uh, the the rate of injected drugs dropped by fifty percent with this program. Mm -hmm. No, uh, no, no other program with uh, repression uh, never uh, had the, these good results. Okay. Uh, so they are, uh, it's definitely uh, effective, and um, ha AIDS, AIDS uh, dropped massively. Uh, well, um, what else? Uh, overdose, overdose uh, dropped massively too. So um, instead of, of the, not being firm, firm enough, it was the, the one of the most effective things we, we can do. It, it's help uh, understanding people and helping people. Mm. And punishment uh, for many reasons, um, yeah. it, does, it just doesn't work. People like it because uh, they, they, they feel that they are doing something. But um, no, but sorry. You see, for, you see, you see this, is, this is where... This is where I should probably play the devil's advocate. I, we have done it many times in our mm -hmm. discussions during yeah, our pri during our private lessons, during lives. But I don't have so much time here to do that. But like, uh, I know you you firmly believe, you strongly believe against punishment. Yeah, and I really think that in certain cases, it's just a safer option. So what if what if there is a threat that whoever you don't decide to punish could kill people or could potentially harm a lot of people if you don't punish them if you don't lock them up if you don't take get rid of not get rid of them if you don't take care of the problem now and then it's not taking care of the problem because if you don't want them to do harm again you would have to lock them down till the end of their lives because they will uh, do that again. some of them some of them well, some of them won't, right? But the point, my point is, like, I, I, I actually like what you're saying, and I think I'm with you, and that your your argument is very logical, in my humble opinion, and I think it 
it will work what you are saying. But my reservation is that I don't think it will always work. I think there are certain cases, some specific cases, like terrorism or something like that, like which is which is so so dangerous that uh, you can't, oh, okay, you just can't, but, uh, you just can't uh, risk it. You know, it's just that the 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 the, the, um, the potential harm is so high that you don't okay, you don't want to risk in it. The, you know? In this case, if we reserve prison for only those extreme cases. We will em still empty eighty something like yep. what eighty percent of the prisons, okay. and all, and all those those guys who end up in prison and just get worse in prison, because they they learn tricks how to avoid prison, how to how to smuggle a drug more effectively mm -hmm. and uh, without getting caught. They they learn a lot of things in prison. And I, I, bet, I, bet, I, worse I bet. I bet. I bet they do, and it seems like you know a lot about this, Helena. Is there something you're not telling us about your past as well, or am I just assuming this? Who knows? Anyway, Who knows? Really, I'm afraid we don't have time for for okay, anything Okay, okay, okay. Uh, no. um, I, I, I even I had up. I even had some extra questions for you prepared by ChatGPT. Um, I made my own questions first uh, because I still wanted to prove to myself that I'm creative enough. And then I was like, okay, let's see what uh, ChatGPT can throw in the debate. And uh, the ChatGPT's questions seem to be way more sophisticated, but uh, maybe a little bit too complicated. And uh, so I don't really mind that we didn't uh, get round to them, that we didn't have time to cover them. Anyway, I hope we do manage to cover a little bit of feedback, Helen. Uh, you know what it is about, right? Uh, yeah, so what mistakes uh, have I made? Uh, a few. Did I, uh, but there were also like a lot I of... Make... No, I think uh, the, the, it looks like... I think this is very... What's the word for it? Mm, uh, misleading. Yeah, this is misleading because like it looks like it's all red. But I also, I also put you down as C1 plus when it comes to your level. Thank yeah? you. So this is very misleading because it looks like Helen has made a lot of mistakes, and she, yeah, she made a few, but she's still C1 plus in my eyes, and that's because she's extremely fluent. She can express herself like not many people I know, yeah, including myself. And uh, she, I'm not that fluent. No, even the way you speak, it's very. You sound very convincing. You sound. I think it's very charismatic as well. It's. It's. Those are some skills that, you know, that are are hard Me? to acquire. Charismatic, okay. No, no, really. Like it's. These are skills that are really hard to develop uh, in a second language. To to be to be funny, to be charismatic, to be persuasive. Uh, pff, you could do any job basically. You could be a salesperson. You could be a comedian. I, I, I mean it, but I can mm, still help you. someone like Helen, yeah, listeners. That's that's what I that's what I'm here for as a teacher, with a, a few few mistakes here and there, but at the same time, I believe that Helen is a, an archetype um, of um, a quintessential. What's the word? Archetype of of like a, a very successful English learner, em embodiment. Let's say a better word, embodiment of a very successful Post poster English. child. Poster child, maybe. What's the, what was the word? Poster child. Poster child. What's that? Maybe I don't know the word. It's, it's like embodiment. It's the ar archetype of something. Archetype. Yeah. Archetype. Uh, anyway, I don't know. Maybe I don't know that word. Post. How do you spell it? Poster, like what you put on 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 your wall. Post child. Child, poster child. Ah, poster child, a person or thing that epitomizes or represents a specific quality cause. Wow, I don't know this one, Helen. You see, Helen is teaching me as well. <laughs> yeah, I put it. I put it up here. Yeah, poster child, embodiment. Nice one, Helen. So, um, at the beginning, you said or you asked me this question, Helen. Who would have thought? Maybe it was a rhetorical question, actually. Who would have thought that a seemingly nice girl, she said, nice girl like me, would like to talk about drugs? So what I really liked about this is this word seemingly nice girl. It's just 
this is where the humor comes in, in my opinion, yeah? So you could just say, you could have just said, who would have thought that a nice girl like me would like to talk about drugs? But by inserting this word seemingly, you made this sentence, this rhetorical question even funnier, in my opinion. So can you explain to us what this word does to the whole question? Like, how does it change the meaning? Uh, it means that I may look like um, like a nice girl, but I might not be such exactly. a nice girl as yeah, as a nice as nice a girl that, uh, I, that seemingly I, seemingly is just it's, it's just an adverb which which adds adds a bit of uncertainty in the assertion, and uh, it makes it sound uh, kind of funny here. Anyway. Not every scientist agree. Not every scientist agree. What's agrees, wrong with that? Agrees, 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 agrees. Why? Uh, because I didn't put an S at the end of scientist, so I meant singular, obviously. But I yeah. forgot to <laughs> to yeah. to transfer yeah. the S to the also, end of agree. Also, also, if you use the word every, it it's singular. It's it has singular. to be singular. Like you cannot. That's say why scientist. I didn't. Yep. Put, uh, uh, that's why I say scientist and not scientists. Okay, well done. It won't but, let... Uh, I got tra uh, trapped with the other word. Uh... It, it won't let nowhere. That, that doesn't make much sense. Uh, I think lead, what you were uh, trying to say lead is that... Nowhere. Lead nowhere. Yeah, lead. It, it would lead nowhere. Yeah, Or you could say something like, it, would get, it wouldn't get us anywhere. Yeah, It wouldn't solve the problem. I think that, that's yeah, what, yeah. You were, yeah. what you were trying to say here. So here we have two problems. First is the double negation. Yeah, yeah not it, double it won't yeah. lead anywhere. And then the verb is also wrong. So not let, but lead. Or you could even use go or I probably get. mispronounced it. Yes. Okay. And also be careful about the double negation. That's not acceptable mm -hmm. here. All right. We are in a society which believe in punishing people. What's wrong Who? with that? Who's believing? Uh, mm, well, society is that is that do, do you think the word society is followed by who? Um, no. I wouldn't society say so. Society which, uh, which, which, which is, is believe, fine. Yeah. yeah. Which, uh, oh, believes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which believes. I don't think this is a... a um, what's the word for it? Uh, collective noun. I don't think this is a collective noun. The word society. I don't think it can be used... A and society, like, so uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Sometimes it can uh, be it can be a, uh, and we use plural. Uh, really, society uh, believe. You know, no, like I wouldn't, the, the, I wouldn't uh, say pol that. Police. The, yeah, but that, uh, that's, that's... when you're talking about a band or a team, society. sometimes it's the team is or the team are. Yeah, but I really don't think this is one of those words. I could be wrong. Yeah, I could be wrong. Yeah, for I, me, agree, for I me, agree. I agree. For me, collective nouns are, as you say, police. Um, what else? Um, board, uh, team, um, government, but I don't think the word society belongs to that group. I could be wrong. Someone correct me if I'm wrong, mm -hmm. please. Anyway, Helen, but, I, uh, I, I most like... likely just forgot about, about the yes. Yeah, uh... that's fine. Don't worry about it. Helen, I think we need to sort of clarify pronunciation of this word as well. So, uh, okay, so. That's it. Ah, there's an ah sound. Punish. Ah, punish. 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 I think sometimes you pronounce it as ooh, punishment or something like that, but punishment. Punish. Yeah, punish. Sorry, I'm mm -hmm. French. No, don't worry. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Speaking of you being French, uh, this is the word you were trying to use, but it sounded like this one. So can you pronounce both yeah. of them to me? Yeah, coping, coping. Yeah, uh, I, I know I'm making uh, this make, you, uh, mistake. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Stop explaining yourself. Correct coping, yourself. Coping, co co no. coping, co coping. No. Co coping. Oh, coping. Coping. Oh, like, like co home. Coping. 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 Yeah. coping. That's it. Very well. Coping. Mm -hmm. Coping. Coping. Coping mechanism. It's a coping, coping mechanism. mechanism. Still... It's still not that convincing, Helen. You have to really coping, have to... coping, coping. Yeah, that's it. That's much better. Oh, coping, go home, phone. 
O, coping, okay. coping mechanism. Okay, right. Coping. As you know, as you know, scientists, scientists like to make experiments on animals. As you know it. No, that's not a problem. Scientists do you do you like... do you make experiments or is there a different verb? Uh, that that's the issue. Uh, doing experiments. I think so. I think you do experiments. You don't make experiments. Okay. I mean, technically, maybe you make experiments. It, it, to make means to create, right? So it's not what they are. Do they are not creating experiments. They are doing them. You know what I mean? Um, performing. They are like. Uh, uh, I'll take your word. Not performing. Uh, not performing. What's the word? Uh, I'll take your word for another, that. Con conducting. Conducting. It could be another mm -hmm. word to use. Yeah? Conducting experiments. Mm -hmm. Carrying out, maybe carry out experiments. I don't know. Would you say carry out? Conduct for sure. You'd say conduct experiments, mm -hmm. but I, but so I think conduct do. or do experiments. Yeah, I wouldn't use make. Uh, okay. <laughs> How do you pronounce this one, Helen? Rat park. Rat park. The problem was the second word, not the first one. Rat. Rat. Park. Park. Rat park. Rat park. Rat park. Rat park. Rat park. Mm -hmm. Rat park. Very good. Um, and what the word I heard was puck, by the way, puck, which is the black rubber thing that is used for playing ice hockey. Okay, uh, they put at least it was not a dero derogative, de uh, de derogative word. Yeah, like a swear word or something. Yeah, uh, they put rats in a cage with lots of rats to have fun. With. Yeah, that's exactly what you need at the end to have fun with. They don't. I think this is a like a slip. I think it's a little bit mean of me to to even include <laughs> this uh, because I know at your level you don't really you don't really yeah, struggle but I'm with. Yeah, I'm making that mistake finish. Let me all, finish. all the time. I, I'm I'm self conscious about it, but it's still. Uh, so you're right, correcting me because uh, at my level it's not. Uh, uh, I do, I'm not sure not because I, I, I don't. They don't yeah, like but... it. <laughs> Yeah. They, they, no, they didn't like it. They didn't like it. They didn't like it. Yeah, you just have to be careful when you use the "don't" or "didn't," and you cannot. You, you use... know, I like to 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 double the uh, the yeah. tense marks, and yeah, I you, shouldn't you, do that. You need I to shouldn't. use what's called an infinitive, basically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's not a conscious process, but that's the main. How do you pronounce the last word? Uh, gist. That's it. Now it's correct. Okay, home violence. I, I'm sure you can say it like that, but isn't there a similar term which which means the uh, same? Uh, domestic violence. Yes, uh, it's just a thought that occurred to me when you said it. Mm. Uh, so and this one violence. is more correct. It sounds more. Yeah, I think it's 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 used more often. Yeah, I, I, mm. this could be used as well. I have no idea, but I, I hear this more often. How do you pronounce this word, Helen? Isolated. So where is the stress? Isolate, isolated, is, uh, isolate, lay, lay. Third. No. The, wh what if I told you that the stress is on the first syllable? Isolated. 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 Yeah, just the first mm. syllable is stressed. Isolated. Right. Okay, it gives you a short-term relief, but it. I think there's something missing here. It. It's detrimental to you on the long run. What's wrong for with that? you? It's detrimental um, for you on the long for run. For you, to you, it's detrimental to you, for you. Yeah, I think you could use both. It's it's harmful sure, to you. It's harmful right, for you. Okay, four might be more appropriate, but um, I think two is not the problem here. On the long run is the is the issue. In oh, uh, in the long run. Yeah, I think we say in the long run. Yeah, mm -hmm. how do you pronounce this? This should be purple. Uh, illegal, like I, I, illegal, illegal drugs. Illegal yeah, drugs. Illegal. 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 Yeah. Illegal. 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 Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Now this one. I noticed this one is actually an interesting one as well. Um, relieve. Re oh. Re. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
uh, one is about relief and uh, the uh, um, this uh, the other one is about uh, leaving something again exactly uh, but yeah it's again the problem with, the about, about, it's about the vowel vowel length again helen so no jokes yeah no kidding yeah. so uh, relieve relieve the uh, first one is a long vowel and second shot yes. relieve and relieve relieve yeah relieve, relieve. You want relieve. to relieve the experience, to live. You live your relieve. life. Yeah? Relieve. To relieve. Relieve. Yeah. relieve. <laughs> it's, it's quite, quite a First. mouth. It's a mouthful, isn't it? The, the second one. Relieve. Relieve. Yeah. Relieve. Okay. Any, anyway, it can rise your tension, your, your blood, blood pressure. Uh, blood pressure. It can rise your blood pressure. Um, uh, your... The verb rise. Uh, is used intransitively, which means you cannot use an object after that. You cannot rise something. You can say the sun oh, okay. is rising or, 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 mm. or, or the blood pressure is rising, but you cannot use it like this. So instead you need a similar verb. Um, it's not all right. It's very similar. Uh, it sounds very similar. Um, Raise, raise, raise your tension. Exactly. Raise your tension. Exactly. Okay. And then if you find yourself unable to stop it. If you find yourself unable to stop it. What's wrong with the word enable, Han? Uh, I don't know. It's, it's, uh, it should be unable. Unable. Uh, oh, yeah, of course. We have the word inability, inability, uh, ability, inability, unable. but the verb is unable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, is, is that a verb even? No, this is not a verb. It's, it's an adjective here. Okay. Um, how do you pronounce this word? Consumption. Con consumption. Consumption. Very good. Very good. Consumption. Some. Consumption. Spread. Consumption. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And what about this? uh illegal drugs yes then you said neither them neither the society will be happy neither think... of them neither yeah neither yeah, yeah of but them. what's the phrase neither it's similar places uh... either or either or and this one is neither uh Oh, okay. Um, neither them nor the society exactly. will be happy. Exactly. And it will encourage people using drugs. After after encourage, we need... To use drugs? Yes. Yes. You encourage someone to do something. Mm. So after encourage, we use infinitive, not gerund. And uh, speaking of this word, how do you pronounce it? Courage. Encourage. Ka, ka, courage. 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 Encourage. En Not encourage. courage. Because I think you, you, your French is coming in a bit like courage or whatever. <laughs> courage. Courage. Yeah. No kidding. <laughs> <laughs> encourage. Courage. Better. Better. But not perfect. Ca <laughs> courage. Uh, it's, it's all good Helen it's all good well done well done I think that's all we have time for today unfortunately so I would like to encourage all people that are watching us live to to give us a like please give us a like it will help this channel a lot and Helen will be super happy to look at her smile she will smile even more <laughs> Alan, thank you very much. And, no, 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 I will smile even more if they comment below the video. Ah, right. Yeah. Not, not only do you have to um, give this uh, YouTube a like, also you also have to comment, and then this will make Helen don't have to. smile. It's just that it will be greatly appreciated. They have to. They have to. <laughs> no, no, they don't have to. It will be greatly appreciated. They should. They should. They should. They should. Never shoot people. <laughs> it's ineffective. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. And on this note, this is it for this live. And um, well, see you soon, guys. Cheers. Bye bye.
Thank you, Zdenek. Bye-bye, guys. Bye. Bye-bye. You're welcome. Take care.